Hello everyone, my name is Ashik, I'm the CEO and Deputy. Today we are excited to launch a brand new feature. It's called Report Builder. Available in Deputy under the Reports menu. You'll see the Report Builder. Not the beta tag, because we're actually not fully done with the development of this. We'll be adding a ton of new features into it, but we believe that at its current form, it's going to add tremendous amount of value to you. To demonstrate it, I'm actually going to run the report builder on our own internal deputy. Yes, we have deputy, we actually use deputy, kind of like eating our own dog food, and uh, we have thousands of timesheets in here. So it's a perfect testing ground or demo ground for me to show you how it works. So once you go into report builder, by default, you'll actually get a timesheet report. It will have about your last 2000 timesheets um, in there, but the fun starts when you hit the edit button. Now I can actually get to customize the reports. I can actually go and choose reporting from any other place, but I'll stick with timesheet. But what I will do is that I'm going to filter all the timesheets, for example, I have done this year. So go back to 1st of January and display name contains comment. When I filter on that, it's actually going to filter all the timesheets that I have in the you can see everything that I have done from 3rd of January till even today. Okay, um, where have I worked? Let's go pull that. I'm going to click on area and then location name. So that shows me exactly where I have worked in Deputy Sydney or Deputy Alpharetta uh, in years in our office. Or, okay, that's the, that's the location. I can also pull the area. For example, I'll go and reorder some columns in there. Um, I can actually also go apply filters and group buys. So in the group buy, this actually uh, it's going to give me summation in terms of where exactly I'm working. So let's do a summation by location name. That's actually showing how many, about 147 times I've worked in Deputy Sydney, 111 uh, times in Deputy Alpharetta this year. And if I scroll to the bottom, you'll actually start seeing the totals in there. Okay, 94 hours I've done in US, about over 1500 hours I have actually worked here in the Sydney office. So that's a really quick overview of how you can use the power of Report Builder to draw information, group, filter, and once you actually have done it, you can also go and save it. So I can go uh, six hours of 2017. Okay, you can save that report. And I also can go to a CSV export. So hit CSV button, that actually generates a download of the file. And as you can see, these are all the data. In there, you can load it up in Excel to do any kind of further analysis you need. Um, so yeah, that's a really quick overview of how custom reporting works. Um, as I said, it's in beta. We have not done yet with the uh, development. And over coming weeks, we are going to add more and more feature into it. Um, and the features we're adding are also listed in there. But we are really, really keen to hear what you would like to see, because that will help us guide better in terms of our roadmap and the features that will make a uh, difference to you. This is a really powerful tool. Um, every business, every mm, customer we have interviewed, they all have a unique perspective on how they want to see reports and what they want to see. But we believe that uh, the report builder allows you to control what you like to see and how you like to see your data. By the way, anytime you are in any, any of the records, you'll see that they're hyperlinked, so it quickly allows you to jump into that uh, that record straight from the report.